Hello and welcome to the Japan Update with me, Stuart Mitchell. On this show, we aim to keep you up to date with the latest news from Japan. If you're new to us and want more great content, please subscribe. On today's show, Japanese swimming sensation Rikako Ikei has been diagnosed with leukemia. 13 LGBT couples file lawsuits on Valentine's Day against the Japanese government. Japanese cultural agency tries to curb downloaded content. And there's more. So let's get down to it and start the Japan update. Japanese swimming sensation Rikako Ikei has been diagnosed with leukemia. The 18 year old who won six gold medals at the Asian Games last year and who came close to breaking the world record for the 100 meter butterfly stated that she still can't believe it and is in a state of confusion. After the announcement, words of encouragement have been sent in to the sensation from around the world. One response that has been ridiculed was that of Japanese Olympic Minister Yoshitaka Tsukurada. The minister suggested that he was disappointed by the announcement as she was seen as a potential gold medalist, and he said he was worried that excitement would wane for next year's Olympics. Rikako Ike has s p o k e of how determined she is to beat the disease by saying that she will do her utmost to show the world as soon as possible an even more powerful Rikako Ike. On Valentine's Day, 13 LGBT couples filed lawsuits nationwide against the Japanese government in hope of forcing the government to recognize gay marriage. Five lesbian and eight gay couples all filed separate lawsuits demanding that the government pay 1 million yen in damages each. Japan's constitution states that marriage shall be only with the mutual consent of both sexes. The government suggests that this means that marriage between two people of the same sex is not foreseen in civil law. Legal experts are suggesting that there is no law that prevents marriage between same sex partners and that the government's interpretation of the constitution violates the constitutional principle that all people are equal under the law. In January, a survey found that members of the Japanese population aged 20 to 59 were in f a v o r of l e g a l i z i n g gay marriage. The Japanese Cultural Affairs Agency announced on Wednesday that they are looking at plans to alter the Japanese copyright law. This move is designed to fight websites that show pirated content which shows manga, music, and videos illegally online. This is due to the rise in piracy of copyrighted materials online. The move will signal a big change in what is considered illegal. Suggestions are being made that could have a mass effect on everyday life in Japan, as actions such as downloading photos, theses, emoticons, and even taking screenshots could be considered illegal. Panel members are discussing the pros and cons of any decision that is made. Members debated how it would be possible to enforce the change due to the difficulties in understanding the difference between legal and illegal content online. This action comes due to the sharp loss in revenue in the manga industry. The tradition of obligation chocolate is beginning to fall out of f a v o r with women in Japan. Compared to the Western world, Japan has a unique setup for Valentine's Day in which only the ladies give chocolate to the men. This also includes the tradition called Giri Choco, which translates to obligation chocolates. Within this tradition, it is expected that women give co workers gifts as well, even though there is no romance involved. Many women in recent years have decided against the tradition, and some larger companies are banning it altogether, suggesting that it is a form of harassment. The Tokyo Electric Power Company are using a robot to move radioactive fuel at the Fukushima nuclear plant. The Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO for short, say that they are able to move some debris that is at the bottom of Reactor 2. The debris is believed to be part nuclear material. The pebble like deposits were around 7 to 8 centimeters long. This operation is checking the status of melted nuclear fuel at the Fukushima plant. 
The plant was disabled after a magnitude 9 earthquake hit off the coast of Japan on March 11, 2011. The subsequent tsunami hit the prefecture hard and it has struggled to grow back economically since. The earthquake took the lives of 15,896 people and cost $360 billion and the effects are still being felt to this day. The operation started at 7am Thursday morning and has been successful so far. That's all from the Japan Update today. If you enjoyed listening to us, don't forget to press the like button. And if you want some more great content, please subscribe. For now, it's thank you from me, Stuart Mitchell, and I hope you have a fantastic week ahead. See you!